This is a video of how to find factors of a number um, using a calculator. So where you can graph and convert to a table is where this would be helpful. So using Desmos, I would say, and I'm going to try to find the factors of 36. So I do y equals 36 divided by x. I don't care what the graph looks like. It will always look something like this with two little curves up in the corners. What I want is the table. So I'm going to edit list and I'm going to do table. It only gives me the first five, but if I highlight here and I keep going, and so all I'm caring about is from one until the numbers flip around. So one in 36, two in 18, three in 12, four and nine, five I don't care about because it's not a whole number, six and six, that they're the same so they would flip around so all of these are my factors okay i'm going to do another one i'm going to clear the graph if i wanted the factors of 100 i would do y equals 100 divided by x uh, there is a graph there it's just too far off the um, graph to be noticed i'm going to convert it to a table and i'm going to just oops come down here and start pushing enter and notice at 10 times 10 it starts turning around because the next one would be uh, 20 not a whole number till 20 and I don't need it because I already have it because 20 times 5 and 5 times 20 so I go until and I'm looking at these whole numbers 1 in 100 2 and 50 4 and 25 5 and 20 and 10 and 10 um, some of you are going to be good at factoring, some of you are not. Um, this goes back to your factor rules and greatest common factors and your divisibility rules that you learned earlier. But on this, whatever number you want to factor, you divide by x, go to the table, and just pick up the whole numbers. This will help you on your graphing.